If you are of a scientific mindset, kind of like myself, you probably don't look a whole lot into things like horoscopes and how the positioning of the planets and the stars at the time that you were born dictate actions and behaviors that you have later in life. And that's just my own opinion due to lack of evidence. Other people in the world do believe that type of stuff and they're more than welcome to do so. And while there doesn't really appear to be any actual evidence that suggests that the time that you were born affects your behaviors and desires later in life, for at least one species of squid, it appears to do so when it comes to reproduction. Welcome back to Tea of the Sea, and over around the islands of Japan, there is a species of squid called the Heterololigo bleakeri, more commonly referred to as the Japanese spear squid. This smaller species of squid is a common food in Japan and throughout the world. Apparently it's really, really tasty, especially right before the spawning season, which runs from February to June. And a new study from marine biologists from the University of Tokyo suggests that depending on when in the spawning season they hatch, male spear squids will have one of two different mating tactics. This phenomenon is known as a relative age effect, and we even see it in humanity. Kids that are born earlier in the year seem to be more likely to be selected for things like sports due to being more developed than their younger classmates. But before this new study regarding sports, squid, this birth date hypothesis, as it's referred to biologically, has only ever been looked at in a few species of teleost fish. It's never been looked at in a broader sense regarding the animal kingdom outside of humans. So there really isn't a large database when it comes to this phenomenon, but this new study really supports the idea for this species of squid. So when it comes to reproduction, male spear squids utilize one of two different methods of reproduction, and it's based on their size. Squid that are born earlier in the season, from April to mid-July, are comparatively larger, so they develop a more aggressive consort mating style. They find a female, they fight off rival males until they impregnate the female, and then stay next to her until she lays her eggs. Squid that are born later in the season, from June to mid-August, are understandably smaller, so instead of fighting with the consort males, they'll sneak past them and mate with the females, depositing their sperm to the female before the consorts catch on and chase them away. This is the first time that the birth date hypothesis has been observed in aquatic invertebrates, and it suggests that the male squid are locked into the mating behavior based on when they were born. Even males that were born early in the season that didn't bulk up to the sizes necessary to be a consort wouldn't switch and become a sneaker. They would wait until the next breeding season when they're big enough to be a consort. In other words, for a male spear squid, the time that you were born in dictates how you are going to mate and there's no getting around it. However, these built-in mating tactics aren't inherited just from the paternal line. Female squid will store the sperm from both consort and sneaker males throughout the breeding season and then use a mixture of both during spawning events. So it's not just one male mating with a female is going to have the offspring be his. All of this suggests that the mating tactics utilized by the males is determined by several different factors, including environmental, biological, and physical. The varying hatch dates in these squid mean that each individual can experience a different environmental condition in their early life, which can affect their growth trajectory. Since squid are pretty sensitive to environmental changes, something like a marine heat wave moving through during the hatching season could affect the growth of the squid that hatched during that heat wave, thus changing their mating tactic. The study did note, though, that there wasn't any apparent changes in the early growth cycle of consort and sneaker males, so more research is needed to be done in that regard to determine if environmental changes do affect squid growth and mating tactics. But for now, you can at least rest assured that at least one species takes the time that they're born really seriously.